Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to Sea Block Rustic Waters. I hope everyone is doing well this morning. I woke up to a glaze of ice and a prediction of more snow. Yay for Midwest living! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so today, today might be a little kind of a slow trod sort of day because Technology mods intimidate me, and I'm sure you've seen before in previous streams, and if you watch me on Utah, YouTube, you know, <laughs> I like, okay, I need to do this, and I know what mods I need to learn to do this, and now I'm just going to stare at the screen and try to not let it overwhelm me, right? So up here, let's show you what I've done. This is going to be our, like, it's going to have a bunch of machines in it, I figure. But I've started with some of the machines, and I've made four magma crucibles for some of the fluids that we need a decent amount of. Gelid cryothium, destabilized redstone, tectonic petrothium, and blazing pyrothium. And they all have ender tanks. And those ender tanks go downstairs. Um, I don't have all of them hooked up, I don't think. I don't remember. Okay, so I do. So we've got the fluids here. And this is because we need them most often for crafting with the workshops, which I'm going to make more workshops and put them along this wall. Um, it's possible that I could make whatever kind of workshop is needed for each of the fluids and pipe the fluids directly into the table um, so that I don't have to keep swapping fluids in and out. So that's a, that's a thought of something that might happen. I might make enough tables and run them along the wall here and just pump the fluids in that are needed for each of the things. But I've started making a bit of jelly cryothium and blazing pyrothium and redstone and tectonic petrothium. So there's little bits of stuff in there. These Each of these tanks can hold 500 buckets and that's that's good for me. I'm happy with 500 buckets of these each. I do not remember why this block is missing. Um, maybe it disappeared with the explosion from the creeper. Do we have any of it? We do. Let's just fill it back in. All right. So I've done that. I have, I have some more enderium in here. I made some enderium. Just I needed some gears to do the conversion kits for the portable tanks. Um, I have purchased another cyclic energy node, and I put another basic capacitor um, from Endryo underneath the diesel gen and hooked the um, node up to it. I do want to make a second one of these and set up redstone control so that we're not wasting fuel because right now we are um, the way a diesel generator works is if it notices that there's any room in this capacitor for power it will turn on and it will burn through enough to need to move 4098 rf per tick and if it has nowhere to put it, it's just going to waste, it's, it just wastes it. So what I, I really need to do is have it set up with a power monitor. I have to remember how to do that. Um, so that it only turns on when there's enough space to put a decent amount of energy in the storage. Uh, the other thing I'd like to do, since we can, we, we have to buy these capacitor banks. We can't make them, but we can buy the immersive engineering ones. Um, and I want to know how much they can hold. The HV capacitor can hold four million it doesn't say whether or not it has an a throughput it does 4096 is the max input and output 
What is the max input and output of the Ender IO capacitors? Probably more. Yeah, even the bulk, the basic one is more. Well, we might just stick with basic ones for now and because we can't even upgrade them. It's just, um, they're not cheap. That's why I'm hemming and hawing. Anyways, I did finish this wing. I need to do the hallway. I did finish building this wing for the most part. I think I'm missing a few circuit blocks on this third floor. So we're going to hop out into the water and swim around so you can see what I've done. And then we'll go inside so you can see all the different floors. So over here, there's our fourth wing. It looks very much like that wing, which was the plan. So I wanted to make it look pretty similar to it. So there we go. That is what it looks like. And like I said, I think I just have a little bit of circuit blocks. I had run out and I needed to do a little bit on this side and definitely this side, this uh, floor here. Um, but otherwise it looks pretty much the same. I want it to have a similar look. So the top has the giant hexagonal plating with the vents and the bottom has the rusty plating with the insulation. So they all look from down here, they look the same as well or close to it. Um, this will be the next thing we change, which we're not going to do some massive changes to it. Um, I want to leave some prismarine so you can remember what it used to be built out of. And so I think what I'm going to do is incorporate prismarine. Oh, there's some flowing water here I need to take care of. Anyway. Um, go back up here. Anyway, in here, the first floor here, I've subdivided. I'm probably going to relocate the chickens, but we've got our kitchen in here. Nothing changed. I turned this one into a bedroom. Right now, it just has a bed. But, um, yeah. So, my bed's in here now, and I have slept in it, so that is my new spawn point. And then I have the ladders for the different floors, which are currently wide open blank spaces. So there we go. And that's going to be for our expansion of stuff. We have a lot of open spaces for expansion. So I'm, I'm not concerned about running out of space for anything right now. Um, I think that's all I've done. I've been collecting money every so often and we're, I'm up to 32 deluxe cheeseburgers. So I've been making those every so often. That's what our current food is. Here's my plan for getting some prismarine into this area. If you remember, I wanted to make this not square. So I will be removing those corners and these will be exposed to the water. Um, the dark prismarine in the corners here is what I'm starting out with. Um, I will, I'm thinking about keeping these as glass, so they'll be like glass windows. And then I'm thinking where the ports are, they'll, these will be solid up here, but I don't know what um, material. I don't know what material the ceilings and floors are gonna look like yet. So this that's just the start of rebuilding this area. I will need to find a new place for our trophy, our trophy display, it might be in a nice, nice thing to have in here um but yeah so today i have a couple of things we're going to work on the first thing we're going to do is a darkroom mob spawner i've already built it so we're going to show you what it looks like but i am currently just voiding everything so we want to because uh, i didn't want to kill the server with drops um we're going to want to sort what we want to keep and um have some storage for it so we'll have that. It's also going to generate uh, liquid X, um, XP for us, so that'll be helpful. And uh, so we'll start with that and then hopefully move on to uh, making a second diesel gen and setting up the redstone control. That's my goal for um, making that a little easier and better on us so that we're not wasting fuel. 
maybe even making a big battery. Who knows? Um, we don't have really a lot of money, but we can get started. I think we can get started. Um, I did take the lava tree down, the uh, arboreal extractor I have relocated, so I do still have eight buckets of lava. Um, I haven't found a need for more lava right now. If we do, then I'll set up an arboreal extractor, or I could even do a magma crucible. Yeah, there's ways, so yeah. Alright, let's head down here where the mob farm is located. I did it inside our work, underground area. Alright. And it's over here. It's not designed pretty yet. I just built it. So um, we have night vision, which is why you can see in there, but it is pitch black inside there. And I just have vector plates on the ground, okay? Is three tall so we can get endermen and we can get spiders because this is two by this is wide by two it's actually three place these all on redstone blocks so that they're um, out and these are diamond spikes so you do get player drops from them um, vacuum chests from ender IO will pull items through blocks which is why I have it just here on the corner we will need to set up an XP um, vacuum chest which we have one I just haven't set it up and like I said currently I'm just throwing everything away because I didn't want to deal with that until I was on stream with you guys so that we can figure out what we need to keep and whatnot um so yeah I'm not sure how far we need to go for this to start spawning mobs I'm thinking just being over here is enough is that far enough away? I would think so. Mm -mm. Can we see mobs spawning in? Oh, see, we can. There's one. So I don't expect this to be a super fast spawn farm, but you can see that things are spawning in here. This is the, the chunk that it's in, and this is the drop zone. So things, this is just a slow, this is the slow one. We are going to have mob spawners that will generate more um, of the specific drops that we need. Yeah, that's kind of what's happening. No, no cursed earth. This is just a dark room spawner and because it's a C block, things spawn really quickly. So. I could do... I can't... is it available? I, it might be. Nope. I don't think... Um, yeah, Extra Utilities isn't in here. I didn't think it was. Yeah. So this is just a standard mob farm. Um, we're gonna grab the vacuum chest for the... XP and then I'm going to do an ender chest and send everything up and we'll do the sorting in our base. Okay. So yeah. Go up. Alright. So let's make an ender two two ender chests. Ender make these what do I need for it do I have everything it looks like I have everything and let's get some turds we're just gonna make them black 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 and we need diamonds and then we need that other chest um, vacuum you and we need an ender tank All right, and I need to go out in the water and find out what color the um, XP is. I think it's lime. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I have an easier access to this now that I think about it. Because we have it directly hooked up to our future tech table. It is. It is a lime white lime. All right. 
So let's do the green coral and bone meal. I think you can just do this. Yep. All right. And let's dial in. If we get this correct, it should show XP in here. Yep. All right. So we have that. If we go down, did I grab? I did. Two diamonds, black. There is a mob in the wall over here. Somewhere. Hmm. I won't worry about it at the moment. Yep, farm multiplayer. Um, I'm the only one on right now. go and we need to prime it I wonder if I need a pipe or if I can just do that to prime it you can turn down the range by a lot um, that should be fine I just need it to get in there hmm having difficulty getting it through the block there, so maybe I need to move this, which isn't a big deal either. All right, let's get you picked up. Oh no, it did just delete it. Dang it! <laughs> mm. I have to go make another one. Won't that be great? At least I got the tank. Okay. Let's go fix that because, you know, that happens. I'm face palming in my head. But I just did that. Hopefully, I can't remember if it was difficult to make. But, um, alright, so. XP vacuum. Oh, this wasn't too bad, but I do need an Enderman head. Um, hmm. Do I have an Enderman head? Nope. I'm hanging on to that. So we might need to go to the end and whack at some guys. <sighs> that was a, definitely a big old goof. Big, big, big old goof. Um, let's bring these down because we are going to go to the end and get because I do not think. The reason I think I need to go to the end is because I do not think that these tiny mob farms drop Enderman heads. I think I need to go kill the Enderman in order to get their heads. Alright, so let's head down here and um... Then we'll head to the end. I do not have anything to, uh, I want you. And better armor. Okay. Apply 
won't need the chest plate because I'll be wearing my jetpack. Alright, let's set this up so that I don't goof again. For now, you can go there and we'll redo this since I don't have a... Where did you go? Ah. Insert. Extract. Always active. So yep, there's our stuff, which you can see we're going to be throwing things away um, when we get up there. But for now, hello Shadow King! For now, let's go fix our goof. Oh, weren't you dumb? Okay. You have a question? Well, I can certainly attempt to answer it. Auto, sluice, and void core. The one it's to create mechanical power instead of using the steam boilers, the steam generator things. I can show you mine when we get back from the end. Hopefully it won't take me long. they teleport when they get hit. Alright. Hey. Hey. Let's start looking at some guys. make them teleport? Will they come back? Don't tell Ed you're looking at guys. <laughs> Apparently this is making me real hungry. All right. I don't know how long this is going to take. I should really enchant this sword. It's even more of a pain since you can't get the Ender from Ender.io, so you don't have... There's not a higher Enderman head drop chance. <clears throat> well, do we do that and come back? That might be smarter.
Alright, Shadow King. Um, part of the quest chain that you're talking about has you make gearboxes and axles and whatnot. And that's what they're used for here. So here's your machine with the uh, nether furnace, which is back behind this piece of leaf. And you give it lava and it makes mechanical power, which turns your gears and your gearbox and your axles into your actuator that actually runs your bore. Hello. Where did you spawn? I have no idea. So this is generating stuff. Look at that. Oh goodness. Ooh, we have potatoes. Woohoo! And zombie heads. Hey, wouldn't that be nice if we got an enderman head in here? This stuff I'd like to turn into cash. So we'll be doing that. Um, hmm. Yeah. Still, there's a problem with these XP orbs. So I'll need to take care of that. I wonder if I put it at that block right there, if it'll pull it through those, or if I need to put it up one. Okay, anyway, let's get a good enchant on our sword, and then head back, because I need to fix what I did. Oh, uh, apparently though, I could... Hmm, I could just use a vacuum hopper for the XP and just only have it output. So that's a thought too. That definitely means we're going to need to move it in. Um, and we're going to need to... Do, do, do. The XP hopper gets caught on things, so that one we're definitely going to need to put up higher. Hi, Comet Lore! There's someone else. We're going to have to find out where they're spawning. Where are you? Oh, you know what? I bet they're spawning like on top of the vacuum hopper or something. Oh, I don't see any red spots. Oh, actually, you know what they might be? They might be when a zombie dies here, he's calling for help. That might be what it is. Um, turn you off temporarily, and we'll put you there, and we'll set you for XP out here, and we'll fill you up with cobblestone because we don't need anything else. And if we do, actually, let's set you. and we can put this block back and mm, nope that's not what I wanted to do is it maybe we'll do the other side let's do it on the other side
That makes more sense to me anyway. All right, so you should be connected. Fill you up with something that can't be picked up by the machine. Mm -hmm. Um, it might be good to put that in there too. If we make this just like a little... I should turn this up so that it does more than one block at a time. Because we could put it right here. I realize the vacuum hopper can do items. The Endryo one does it better. And we will replace this with the vacuum chest XP vacuum there at some point. Because it does it better. Alright, so we can now go upstairs and start sorting this stuff. And this should be fine. Okay. Where do I want to store that? Hey, Comet Lord, did I already say hi to you? If I didn't, I completely apologize. Alright, I want to use storage drawers so that I can control the amount of items we're storing before we discard since we don't need a whole bunch. So I'm going to do the 2x2 two two drawers for everything. Um, except for what we need for nutrient distillation because we're going to need so much of that. So zombie flesh is one of the items that we decided we're going to collect and... What was the other thing? Probably nether wart. We need to get nether wart. Hey, Darkwing! So, zombie flesh will make a full size drawer. So, I need to grab some wood. And we can make some chests. And then we need treated wood, right? To make the drawers. I think they're just done in here. Um, you. Nope. Okay, and we need the fastenings. That's right. We need to make more fastenings. Alright, so we need one of these. And it needs a hammer. for zombie flesh and then why I, I think everything else would be just fine as these so we'll start with that that'll give us eight items we're definitely gonna need more than that okay Alright, 
And then we need a controller, which I don't think I have. Nope, I have a slave. The controller is... Oh, we need to make another drawer. I think I have the pistons. Yep. And the stone. Yep. And the iron. All right, so we need to make, let's make another chest. And we're gonna need some more fasteners. Is that rods? Uh-huh. I think that's done in here. Yep, okay. How big a storage drawer do you want for your nether wart? I don't know. I have to get nether wart yet and plant a farm and automate the farm. I don't have any of that done yet. And set it up as an agricraft crop. So, well, how is, did I look up compacting drawer? Cause this is not the recipe I was just preparing to make. <laughs> this is what I need though. I must have did a compacting drawer. Okay, so we need the fasteners and buttons and... All right. Four buttons, we don't need you. We have two hoppers. Um, the wiring kits. And which coils need two of the transmission coils and aluminum plates, tin, silver, iron, invar, steel. So I need to make some aluminum plates. And these. So let's go make the plates. We'll get those going and then solder. That was the other component. Glue. Nothing, so we need to make solder. Yep. So we'll do solder. Where's my bucket? I swear I keep losing my buckets. See, I probably did the compacting drawer. And then solder. There we go. Alright. Um, conduit. Probably gonna need a filter. Are those things we have to buy? Oh, I have an advanced one. I'm good for that. All right, so where are we gonna put our mob drop storage? We have space on this wall that would be nice to use. And we're already gonna be tying into the storage drawer system up here with AE eventually. So it wouldn't be bad to use this side here for mob drop storage. So let's do... Um, ender chest here. Drawer controller here. 
and then da -da -da. start with that and let's pull some items out this for sure will go there I should have grabbed my key Common things first. Um, do I want to store these in here? Because we're going to probably just convert them straight to the sorted farm goods and get cash for them. Uses of these is only if I get into alchemy and that'll be the wildfire cores. There's really no use for them. Do we want to store them at all? Alright, sulfur, yes. Um, sure, we'll store potatoes. And we're definitely gonna need to store heads. Um, arrows. I really don't have a use for all these arrows. Unless I want to make special arrows, which I don't think I do. Hmm. So, so far, I think we're tossing Armor, tools, weapons, arrows, and ancient motive cores. Match metadata, ignore metadata. Match MBT, ignore MBT. Um, No, 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 what are you doing? Um, priority. You should not go in there. I need to get my key. That's sitting there because of this can be damaged. There we go. Um, did I not put you in the filter? I did not. Are gonna need more than one filter? Imagine all the things. 
So I can put one here, here, and here. So I can have three, probably four if I need to. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a... Isn't there one that's bigger? Big item filter. Filters even more items. So until... You know, we know what else we're gonna get here. And I'm not sure if I'm too far away. I don't know. Well, I don't need you. Okay. Anyway. So that's our current passive mob farm. Or hostile mob farm that is passive in generation. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is set up the bricks to become cash, I think. So we need a setup in here for that. Um, right there would be good. Whoops, not there. Mm -mm, right there. There we go. So we're going to get another ender chest. And we need to make a crafter. And some... Um, item look translocators. I'm just thinking, I've got ender chests everywhere, and I bet there's definitely a way to reduce the number of ender chests I'm using. Yep, there is definitely a way to do that, where I only need one ender chest that's input to, um, to cash production and one that's input to other you know so I've got have way too many ender things mm-hmm 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 so do we want to work on that I've got this done I can check that off I made the liquid storage that was this here um, yeah, so we need to figure out, since we're getting, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'm too far away. I'm in the same chunk. Let's go look real quick if we're getting anything else. Zombie flesh still at 33. I'm wondering if I'm too far away from the dark room. So that's a thought. <laughs> Let's go down and back up. And we'll see what happens. I need to eat. That was most likely enough to get close enough to the dark room spawner and spawn something. That was the test. No idea. Those are all the same numbers. Oh well. Not worried about it right now. We have that set up so that I don't have to have it disabled. Um, yeah. 
Oh, did I? I should probably change the range of my vacuum hopper. The chest. Um. There's things coming through, that's for sure. Extract, always active. Range, three. Oh, it's, yeah, not high enough range. Always active. Oh, there's my problem. <laughs> there's my problem, guys. Okay. I had it disabled. Alright, let's go back up. And we need to deal with more drops. So first... Oh, is that it? Really? We just need to deal with this. Skelly head. Oh, money chests. Um, which boots do we have in there? We don't have any, so we already need leather gold boots. And then we're going to be out of this filter's spaces. Because we need leather and gold pants. Yep, alright, so we need another one. Because we're going to need one for definitely leather chest plates. Swords or... Swords will likely come through, I think. Um, the arrows are still sitting here. Is that because I didn't... They're here. Or those. Um, ignore damage. There we go. That's cool. All right, so those are gonna go now. Okay. Good, good. So this will help us with our nutrient distillation. Eventually. Alright, things are still coming in, so that's good. That feels better. Much better. Um, so, improving our money um, line here will require Endryo conduits and having just one input. And probably that one. This one's separate because I actually there's no reason for that to be a different color. Um, this one's coming from our diesel gen area where I'm doing overflow corn into into cash. The rest of the corn is being turned into ethanol. But this is the overflow chest, so it really could be the same as the chests that we're receiving input from the farms. And then we can just have that output to an ender, a conduit line that filters into each of the auto crafters that we want set up. And 
It looks like these drawers are not needed because this is never staying full. It's crafting them fast enough. Okay, 